so cute. Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Addie Gunnan of Well Loved Clothing. If you're new to my channel, I do everything thrift, vintage. These people are not usually with me. I am on family vacation right now in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I am super excited <laughs> to thrift. That's my little brother. <laughs> That's fun. So <laughs> On. This is Claire and then y'all know my husband Peter. He's in the back So we're taking a little family trip to Savers and this is the first time I've ever been to a Savers I don't know if they have any in Georgia or South Carolina or really anywhere in the south So I'm really excited to be able to go to a Savers especially to thrift a different part of the US I've also never thrifted out west Did I thrift in California? No, 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 I haven't thrifted anywhere out west yet either. So this is super fun Y'all are gonna get to see hopefully some different thrifting. Hopefully some good vintage I'm not really sure what to expect We're just gonna kind of go in here and have some fun as you can probably tell obviously now, but <laughs> Let's head into savers and thrift our hearts out. Let's do it. Let's go <laughs> Okay, there are so many suede and leather jackets. A lot of really good fur jackets too. I don't know if that's just because we're in like a cooler climate, so they're gonna have a lot more jackets, but they're like 20 to $40 maybe, which isn't too bad, but I really like the shape of this one. So we might try this. What'd you find? I found this jacket. It looks cool. <laughs> I think I would like it over this jumpsuit. Very actually. Arizona. It looks really cool. It's yeah, like leather and suede. Western. And this is knit. That's really cool. But it's fifty dollars, so maybe not. It's way too expensive for me and Annie. Medium professional leather. So I'm learning that prices are a little higher here, but it's kind of worth it because these things that I keep. It's a big sweater. You're trying to put that. On. <laughs> I know. I know. This thing don't work. If I could move my arms. You look ripped. <laughs> I look ripped. <laughs> this is cute. It fits really well. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> vintage sweater it's orange and i just love this color orange <laughs> natural born star <laughs> this is really cute this is sheer and it has this really fun little ruffle across the top and i've been looking for some sheer tops to do like under overalls and stuff so really cute <laughs> oh, those are cool what brand are those dickies are they really those are cute go oh, so, i got this poncho right I'm gonna buy it without trying it on. <laughs> oh, that's cute! I don't want to see it. Oh, that's really cute! <laughs> Claire just found this for me and it's really cute. Y'all know I love polka dots and this really pretty ochre color. That's really fun. I, I think like it could tie. be good layered. Is it tied? Oh, 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 that is cute! Oh yeah, we're gonna try this one. <laughs> I swear, I keep finding so many jumpsuits, and oh, this one is really cute. I love the peach color. It's an extra extra large. And I... <laughs> this is so cute. I actually have a cream poncho that's very similar with the little arm slits and the buttons, and I surprisingly wear it a lot. So this might be a really good piece because y'all know how much I love that yellow color too. This is just so much fun, and I think I'm loving this store so much because it's all really wintry, and I love thrifting winter, so I'm gonna try this on. <laughs> I just found this gem. It's in the plus size section, so I will not snag it because I hope a lovely plus size lady gets to, but that collar is gorgeous, and this pattern with the checks and floral is to die for. How cute. Okay, I just found this leather dress, and it's a modern brand, but it's really cute, and it's definitely not real leather, but it's still really pretty, and I love this color, and I think the shape would be perfect, and I have a holiday party to go to, actually, with my sister, and I might wear this. So cute. <laughs> Okay, I've gone through dresses and I think I have some good ones. Um, let's go to pants now. I just found Pendleton trousers. They're real wool and they're this gorgeous tan and I think they'll fit just based off of trying the little neck trick thing, but I'm gonna try them on. I found some super cute high-waisted red pants. I love the seams down the front and the shape of these. I don't really need red pants, but I think they are so cute. 
Okay, these are really cool. These are BDG jeans and they have an elastic waist, which I've never seen before, but they're kind of like a really good mom jean straight leg style. So that might be kind of interesting to try on. So we'll see. Oh, I love this skirt. It's kind of a twall pattern, but it's very wide and flowy and has that super cute little ribbon around the elastic waist. I just love this. Okay, Peter just pulled this coat and it's insane. Oh my gosh, it's a shop coat. And this wash is really, really cool. Let me back up so you can see it more. <gasps> He has it on. This is really cool looking. This is a vibe. It's a vibe. It's oh my gosh, that is so cool. I think you should get that. Oh yeah, God. for sure. <laughs> okay, Claire and I are now gonna go through some things that we got because they have no dressing rooms here, which is another fun thing. But I'm okay with it because I don't want to try stuff on today. So let's go through stuff. <laughs> mirror right here okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hold stuff up to me and that's gonna be my fitting room today so let's do it so I'm gonna start with this really cute sweater that I literally just snagged off the rack I just like the design of it and I think it's really fun but I don't know if I need another sweater so we'll see so these are those little mom jeans with the elastic waist that are the Urban Outfitters BDG brand and I just really like the waistband but I think they'll be a little big on me but the shape is very fun and also since I'm not a denim girl don't really need another pair of denim but very cool found this really cool tee I love the MTV design on it I just think it's fun to do like over a turtleneck or even just by itself maybe with some fun shorts like biker shorts but I'm not sure if I need another t-shirt and I have to fit all this stuff in my suitcase which Peter reminded me a second ago so we have to pare down a lot <laughs> Okay, so these are the Pendleton trousers that are so beautiful. The texture is insane and I love the little pleat. And they're not like a super thick wool either. They're really cute. I just don't think I need a tan trouser. Here is the whole dress. It's that cute little leather cap sleeve dress. And I just think it'll fit really well. And it has this cute little seam here. And you know, I love texture. So it would be fun to layer under sweaters. Yeah, with all kinds of wintry things. So let's take it, maybe. Okay, so here it is on. Of course, this is not the look and it's kind of bunching because of the big sweater sleeves that I have on, but the knit is gorgeous on here and I love the gold buttons. I think it would be such a fun piece to throw on top of anything. Maybe even that leather dress over here would be so pretty with this over the top. I love it. Okay, this is so dang cool. This is genuine leather, but my favorite part are these little Western details. It has the stitching there and on the pocket and on the back, but the shape and the length is absolutely gorgeous. And I honestly would wear it with my leather cognac pants that are this color and do like a leather suit. That would be so cool. I'm gonna see the price on this one because the jackets were a little pricey. So I'll check it and get back to you. Okay, Peter for sure tried this one on earlier and you saw him in it, but I'm also kind of in love with this. I think the shop coat pockets are absolutely insane and the wash is really cool. Even like with the denim on denim thing, it's kind of doing something cool for me. And I think Peter and I will both get a ton of wear out of this because he looked so good and loved this jacket. So this might have to be a yes for both of us. <laughs> absolutely. These jackets are absolutely insane. That is my one takeaway from this favor specifically, amazing jackets. This one has this gorgeous detail up here. It's like punched leather. It has a very vintage shape and could really be a beautiful crop. And the color is amazing. So it feels like I'm gonna have to pick through a lot of jackets to figure out which one I'm gonna get. So here's another look at that gorgeous polka dot dress that Claire actually snagged and I love the ruffle love the massive polka dot but I think it's an off the sleeve dress and or off the shoulder and I'm just not a big fan of that I think this is a no but it is so dang cute and has so much potential for some fun so I 
love this dress too. I love a good cheetah print piece, especially with bucket pockets. And it actually has a little belt that goes around the waist and is a really cute vintage shape. And I just love these dresses to do like a v-neck sweater over the top of and maybe knee high boots would be really cute, but so cute. This is so much fun. It feels like a tennis outfit gone wild. It is button front all the way down. And so I think I'm not going to get it because I have that one from Kavina that's the orange and blue that are more so my colors. I love a collared dress too, so very cute. Okay, this piece is absolutely beautiful. I love this. I think I have to get it. It's lightweight. It'll fit in my suitcase. Great. It's just this beautiful taupey color and I think it'll be so much fun to layer under all kinds of pieces in all seasons. These are also really fun to layer over turtlenecks in the winter so you can still have that sheer kind of effect to it but I love this and I think it's a yes. I also found this gorgeous sweatshirt. I think this is so much fun. This was actually Peter who found it and the color is just really great and I love a good sweatshirt to just style over the top of skirts to make really casual outfits out of fancier pieces and then just throw a sweatshirt over it and it just makes it really cool. I like the stripes on it too. It could be a fun pattern play but very vintage looking, very cute. We'll see. Okay, I'm always a sucker for a huge collar and this is no exception. I love the tie on this. The ruffles are so sweet. And once again, a sheer piece that can just be really versatile. So we'll see. Okay, it is a new day. This is a new sweater. We're at a new thrift store. Um, yesterday, it was late and we just needed to go get some food. We were starving and it got really dark. They found some awesome stuff. My little brother usually thrifts, but my little sister does not. So it was really fun to just thrift with them, but I am going and do a Goodwill now. And I'm really excited to see what we're gonna find. And there's a beautiful mountain right here, but let's go thrift some more in Flagstaff. Let's do it. Okay, kind of strange, but I'm starting in shoes today because they have a lot of really cute boots in color, so let's do it. I found these incredible red mules. The detail on them is gorgeous, and I love a pointy-toed mule. And they're Franco Sardo, so they're pretty nice and just very cute and fun. I love these little work boots. I think the tan and red is so much fun. Super chunky, short little profile, so cute. These are also some really good riding boots. They actually look like some fry boots I had a few years ago, but the color is a little more like a wine red and they're just gorgeous. I'm going through jackets now. I have found so many sweaters, but this jacket is beautiful. It's not a shape that I like because it's like the shorter kind of cropped version, but if you look at it, you can see it's like embroidered here and it's so pretty, but I think it's not gonna come into the fitting room with me. This is a vintage Landon blazer and look at the pattern on it. The green is so beautiful and it kind of looks like Pendleton, but it has some pink in here too. Oh, this needs to be a tried on. Oh, I love this little cropped button down. I love kind of twists on a button down and this one has some fun snaps down the sleeve and the orangey ochre color with this black check is so cute. I'm loving this pretty little quilted jacket too. The colors are beautiful. I keep finding this color everywhere and it's just obviously my favorite color, but these are such good pieces with the little short sleeve and the turtleneck because you can layer them under anything and it looks really good but still keeps you kind of cool, especially for my southern winter kind of feel, so this is perfect. Okay, I've looked through all the tops. There are so many here, but we're going to go through dresses and bottoms and then we'll see what we get into. This is adorable. It's a very vintage shape, but it's actually ASOS or ASOS. I don't know what you say, but it's really cute and it has this adorable little waistband and I wish it would fit. Cause that would be really cute, but it does not. Okay, my car is super full and there actually are not fitting rooms open here either. So I'm just gonna show y'all some of the pieces that I'm thinking about. Music is also really loud. Sorry if you can't hear me. Okay, we are going to do this voiceover for the try on hold up to me sort of portion because the music was just really loud and I figured this would be the best way that you could hear what I'm kind of saying. So to kick it off, I'm starting with this gorgeous nightgown. It is so vintage that it's almost falling apart, but it's just beautiful and I love it. 
The next piece that I picked up was that really cute little cropped shirt. I wish I could try this on because I think it would be the perfect crop for the pants I'm actually wearing right now. But the color is so beautiful. It's almost like a tan brown, but the check is cute and those snaps are great and I would style this all the time. This dress, I could not resist picking up. You know my love for just magical maxi dresses, and this is no exception. I loved the ruffle around the top, and the lace on the bottom was beautiful, and I think it would fit me perfectly, but I just don't want to risk it on this kind of dress right now. And I probably don't need another formal, so it's a no. This is that really cute little turtleneck, and I'm actually going to get this one for a frock box, one of my styling things that I do, because it's just a really good layering piece, especially, like I said, for the warm weather. And these are just really flattering to tuck into jeans, too, instead of, like, a graphic tee. Okay, this sweater has my heart. It is the strangest little funky piece, and I love that it's this one sleeve. I was a little confused by it at first, but it is one sleeve just kind of off strapless on the other side, but I love the ruffle and the color, and it's super cozy and feels very like chic winter gal, so we'll see what I do with that. I also love these pants. So these are vintage ski pants and I am in love with them. They have adorable details and they're actually the shells so they're not super thick but they're still kind of that swishy sporty material that I think could be so much fun to play around with. These velvet pants are so gorgeous. I wish you could kind of see in person. You can't really see the movement in them, but they're almost metallic, deep chocolate brown. And so they have a really pretty sheen in like a gold color to them. And I just love them, especially for a little holiday outfit. But I also love to just do a blazer and a tee with this kind of thing to kind of fancy up a more casual outfit. Ooh, I could scream. I'm so excited for these pants. I have been looking for the perfect pair of camo cargo chunky pants and these are absolutely perfect. The pockets on them are adorable. They have a little elastic around the leg that's just to die for and they're high-waisted and just kind of balloon style and they're exactly what I've been looking for and I would so wear these with a blazer and a tee or even a really fancy blouse with maybe like a bow on it to just mix that feminine and masculine. I am so excited for them. I found a couple of these perfect cardigans and I found this one in this rust color and I just love a grandpa cardigan. This is a nice thick knit, but it still has a lot of mobility. And I love the little pockets and the fact that it doesn't have buttons. I just think it makes it more like a jacket almost, maybe like a bed jacket. So here's the olive one too. And it's just a really cute style. Great to throw over a tee and jeans like I'm wearing now, or even just throw it over a fancier kind of dress to make it a little more casual. Maybe some sneakers, maybe a little claw clip in your hair or a hat. This would be so cute for fall and an extra layer in winter. So I think I'm going to get the rust one for my frock box girl too. This sweater just has it all. These little embroidered flowers, all of the texture on the collar, the button placket, the pockets. It is so cute and such a fun color. And I would wear it open over maybe like a little white crop top with some jeans just to make like a very cute modern cool girl look. But it's also super cute this way or even untucked over a skirt would be adorable. So lots of styling possibilities here too. And the collar on it makes it function as a shirt or a sweater, so very cute. Oh my gosh, I love this blazer. I knew that it was gonna fit perfectly and it really does. Just that wonderful oversized but not too big fit. And the color and pattern is gorgeous and I would wear it just this way right now. I have so many ideas for this and it's such a solid piece with a little bit of fun with that color. This is such a fun sweater. I love the big open knit on it and that v-neck is so cute. Of course, I'm a huge fan of the yellow, but this feels like it could be a really fun casual sweater or even maybe fancy something up with a big bow blouse underneath it. But still with that open weave, you could get some pattern play in here and it almost functions as a pattern. So I see a lot of possibility for this piece too. Oh, this skirt is so precious. We're really making a look in the thrift store here, but I love the pattern on it. it is such a beautiful vintage floral and it's actually part of a set so it comes with this adorable little collared blouse and it has a little bit of a sheen to it that I just think is gorgeous and I would wear it as a set as separates and it would just make a beautiful statement and I think it's handmade vintage also so of course we love this but so cute
This wool skirt is so beautiful. The color is amazing, and I've never seen a wool skirt that's so flowy while still being so warm and thick. The waistband is also nice and chunky, so it'll sit on my waist really nicely, and I think it'll fit perfectly, but I love this with mixing some colors. Maybe like a blush blouse or an orange tee would be very cute with this skirt, so we'll see. Okay, I'm at the suitcase section now because I'm looking for a carry-on so I can bring back all my finds because there are way too many good pieces here. So I definitely recommend the Goodwill, which I've always kind of wanted to go to an Arizona Goodwill. Follow them on Instagram. They're amazing. So yeah, we're gonna get, get a suitcase hopefully to take all the finds back. Okay, we are back home. We've been actually home home for a week now and I actually filmed the thrift haul portion of this video today and I was going to mash them up all together but then I realized that it was going to be a very long video because I got so many things and I wanted to show you what my siblings and husband got too and so I'm going to split them into two portions so there will be another video live, a little surprise this coming Sunday that shows you the thrift haul for all of this. But for now, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for thrifting Flagstaff with me. I had so much fun, and I hope this helps you kind of discern what thrift stores to go to if you make your way out there. So let me know which piece is your favorite that you saw in the thrift store today, and subscribe to my channel. You are well loved. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.